This cab is helping me do my job in as much as it's so much easier and nicer and pleasant to drive. Um, the old diesel cabs, they've served the trade quite well, but very antiquated, unreliable, uncomfortable, extremely expensive to run. So hot inside, it's unbelievable. You can actually not near enough toast the fumes some days. This is a complete opposite. It's very, very hard now. You, you just cannot get, when you do find a charger, you can't get on them. There's taxis waiting, there's normal vehicle, other uh, vehicles waiting. We are certainly increasing the momentum at the moment because there's more cars you see on the road and at the moment we have already 10% of the total London taxi fleet is already our electric taxi, already 10%. And as more cars we get on the road, as more drivers well, are excited and really heavily excited about our product, they talk about it in a positive way. We see more and more big car fleets, taxi fleets approaching us to order, take big orders, giving us big orders from our electric taxi. So actually what we see at the moment, we see an increased momentum and we believe sales will speed up quite uh, significantly very soon even. So taxi emissions contribute to about 30% of uh, NOx pollution in London, so very significant. And you know, that's because we've been increasingly cleaning up uh, London's bus fleet and cleaning up London's uh, vehicle fleet, so vans, coaches, lorries and so on. So we have to tackle taxis as well as everything else.
So we created the biggest network, bigger than New York and Paris, so the rapid chargers, standard chargers and residential chargers. So we have over 185 chargers, rapids on the, on the street now. Half of those, roughly half, are about dedicated to taxis alone, as well as uh, lamppost chargers, uh, over 1,000, 2,000 if you count the private sector ones as well. So there's a very big network, lots of capacity. We're working with the industry to make information available to them so they know whether there are free um, um, charge points. They can already do that. So yes, there may be an occasional peak point, but actually there's lots of capacity out there.